A school torn apart, homes damaged, and trees uprooted. Some of the impacts of the severe early morning storms that struck while a lot of people were sleeping. Communities across the Gulf Coast were impacted. Among the hardest hit places, the Fruitdale community of Washington County, where a school took a direct hit. WKRG News 5's Blake Brown is live tonight with a look at some of the damage there in Fruitdale. Blake? Yeah, Pete and Devin, incredible damage here. I just want to back out of the way and show you what we're seeing here. Still a lot of this tin, this tin metal roof up in trees. There's a large piano out here. Imagine it's just before 3 o'clock in the morning. It's dark outside. You hear that storm approaching, adrenaline pumping as you run for safety. That was the reality this morning for a handful of families right here in Fruitdale. Trees snapped, some uprooted. A tornado ripping through the heart of Fruitdale, tearing apart homes in its path. It started sounding like a train coming. And all we had time to do was just get in the bathtub and pray. We jumped in the tub and started praying, and the Lord left us here. Jerisa Loper, her husband, and their seven month old daughter Hadley running for cover in this mobile home Wednesday morning as the winds picked up. All I knew to do was grab her and run to the kitchen and get up under the table. And by the time he ran in there trying to find us, it was already happening. Stuff just went to flying everywhere. Trailer was shaking. It was just awful. It was awful. Fruitdale High School taking a direct hit from the storm. The metal agricultural building on campus torn apart piece by piece. Parts of the school's gym also damaged. The tight knit community pulling together as the long cleanup process begins. A scary morning for residents between Fruitdale and Tibby as they waited for the tornado to pass, holding on to their loved ones and never letting go. She's the one who kept me sane because I'm terrified, absolutely terrified of bad weather. I was just praying that I would be able to see daylight, and fortunately, I did live through it. And when it's something like that happened, and the building you in, and it's shaking and trembling. You just feel fear, and that's what I felt was fear. I knew that it could have been worse, that we could have all have died in this storm. But thankfully, you're okay, your family's okay. Mm -hmm. Right, we're doing well. Again, luckily, no injuries reported here with this EF1 tornado in Fruitdale. Crews are still out here, power crews right now, trying to restore power. They're putting new poles in the ground. It likely won't be tonight before power is restored here in this part of Washington County. We're live in Fruitdale. I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.